Alright, so we got another elevator here. <laughs> and the little elevator music. Yeah, this one's a little longer. By the way, that's what the mod adds. You don't get any music here in the uh, in the normal version. So now we're in the gray area. Save. Oh, looks like another city here. Can we try using the elevator? The elevator is in use. So no. Uh, looks similar to the ruins. Got another long corridor. Huh. Well, this looks familiar. Looks like Toriel's house. New home. Oh, I love this uh, track here. Yeah, it, it looks exactly like it so far. The way is blocked by two padlocks, and there's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hes hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Huh, must be Asgore's note. It's a golden flower. Yeah, and there's another one there. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Tea, huh? Seems like gardening tools. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Oh, frog it? A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Alright, so we're gonna be told a little story here. A bit of backstory. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. It's a note. Howdy, help yourself to anything you want. And there's a key here. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Trash can? It's a trash can. It's full of it's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. The stovetop is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. Huh, just like Toriel. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Alright, let's go on this side of the house. It's a golden flower. Dusty toys. And a couple of uh, presents here. There's a heart shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Yep. You got the heart shaped locket. Alright, let's see. Armor Defense 15. It says best friends forever. Yeah, it's better than what we have now, so we're gonna equip that. You equip the locket. And, uh, we're gonna put it away. Save it for later. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Not the worn dagger. And I'm assuming this is a weapon. Weapon, attack 15, perfect for cutting plants and vines. 
Alright, let's equip it, and then I'm gonna put the Burt Pant in the inventory. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. There are a lot. There's a, there are a lot of striped shirts in here. It's a twin size bed. Those look comfortable. Room under renovations. Almost small. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as a as their own. The underground was full of hope. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. So we got both of them. Despite everything, it's still you. Hmm. This must be Asgore's room. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page, uh, current page says is nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a king size bed. <laughs> Perfect for a king. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs 98. The year I was born. Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. Okay, so now that we got both keys, I believe we can unlock this. There we go. There's an old calendar from the end of 21X. A date is circled on it. Alright, we're gonna go back and save real quick. Okay. Let's go down to the basement. Then, one day, the human became very ill. A oh, vegetoid. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Asriel, racked with grief, Absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the, into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Washua. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Chiron? Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Dummy! The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away.
Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans have once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save, save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Frogget. There's another elevator. And that'll take us back to the beginning of that. Oh. Last corridor. Or some may know it as the judgment room. And you'll see why. Is that sands? So you finally made it. Huh? Huh? Triple secret code word. Nah, I'm out of material. You felt something on your keychain. Hmm. Wonder what it was. Yeah, <sighs> alright. Well, since I played this game before, uh, that kind of ruined it. <laughs> yeah, so... I don't know if I'm gonna uh, show, show that off, but the key he gave us was to his room. So, yeah, that's all it was. And basically, uh, we kind of skipped his little... Uh, sh spiel about judging us so throne room all right what let's see what's down here first before we go in because I believe Asgore is in there waiting for us it's a coffin there's a name engraved on it Matt. It's empty. And here's all the other souls. <sighs> Kinda sad. Save again. Alright, let's go in. And there he is. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I... Ooh. Oh. I 
I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Hmm. You know what we must do? When you are ready, come into the next room. We have to fight you. It's a throne. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. I wonder why that is. Another save. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Hmm. Yeah, kind of relatable in this situation. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Hmm. Huh, they're giving us a lot of saves here. So, I think... Yeah, I think we are ready. So, uh, yeah, let's go fight Asgore. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by, en by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Uh, we're going. I see. This is it, then. Ready? Oh, there are the souls. This strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, that's not cool. You got rid of my mercy button. Asgore attacks. Alright, check. Asgore, 80 attack, 80 defense. Uh, fire attacks. Kinda like Toriel. Talk? You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Ow. Talk more. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Uh, oh, that was close. Alright, I need to heal. Uh, let's eat the pie. You ate the butterscotch pie. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack down. Asgore's defense down. Oh, blue. So don't move. Talk more. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. So talking does help. Alright, so we can't spare him. So we got no choice but to fight. More fire attacks.
Yeah, you want to get into the middle. Yeah, that's hard. Because you can't really see. Blue, blue, orange. Move. There you go. Ah. Moving this uh, circle. Try not to get hit. Oh, uh, it's getting a little more aggressive now. Blue, or orange, blue. Almost half. Oh, good. Didn't get hit. Uh, I, I love that attack for some reason. It's very unique. Blue, blue, orange. Oh, that was close. <laughs> it almost hit me. Oh. A lot faster now. Ow. Yeah, sorry that I'm not talking much. I'm just trying to concentrate. Uh, heal, um, Glamberger. Well, now we're doing more damage. We're almost done. Orange. Wait, what does it say? Asgore has low HP. I think this might kill him. Or oh, no. Oh, we're close though. And there we go. Didn't quite kill him. Got him close. Ah. <sighs> So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future that had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power I do not want to hurt anyone. I just want everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. <sighs> We're gonna be nice and spare you. 
after everything I have done to hurt you. You would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. Aww. Uh-oh. No, Asgore! And the moment's ruined. Who would do such a thing? Uh... Who are you? Hehehehe. <laughs> Don't worry. I know there's no real point in fighting you. The human souls would probably just revolt again. So... Uh... What are you doing? Who was that flower? Huh. Weird. And now... We're back where we started. And... I believe... That's it. But is it though? Yeah, we got these credits here, but there is a little more we have to do. We're getting a phone call. Hey, uh. Is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The Queen Return is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the King gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it, it will take but we will get out of here. Sans! Who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human! I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the, of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion inducing. But I think Alphys likes having her around. Uh oh. Hey! What are you up to, punk? Yeah. Please don't noogie the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's a... But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noogie the skeleton. Anyways, 
Now I'm working as Alphys' lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah, and I'm a good and and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey. I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault he... Ah, uh, darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, Undyne. Snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, where, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is, even the Queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna... Heh, <laughs> she says she's busy. But if she knew we were talking to... We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back anytime, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, hate to cut this short, but... Be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now! See ya, punk! Click. Oh. Seriously, who are you? Why do you keep coming back here? Oh, I get it. You want to be friends, huh? You're pathetic! You really think I want to be friends with you? Heh. <laughs> you really don't get it, do you? There's only one person I could care about anymore. And even then, I couldn't truly care about them. I just like to think there's someone out there. Someone that I won't get tired of. Someone like me! Say, quit looking at me with that stupid ex expression. You're pissing me off. <laughs>